All right, 2020 is a big year for the Health Brigade. They have provided health services to everyone in our community who doesn't have access to quality care. That's right, and they're celebrating this Friday with their third annual Brigala. You're invited. Joining us with more, Heather Turbine Pollard. We welcome her back to Virginia this morning. It's great to see you this morning. Great, thanks so much for having me. This is a great party, and it started with the name change a couple of years ago, correct? That's right. We yeah. changed from Fan Free Clinic about four years ago to Health Brigade, but we've still been delivering the same great service. Yeah. Let's remind everybody, if they're not familiar with the organization, of course, 50 years, celebrating a big anniversary this year, but the services that are offered to the community. Yeah, our goal has been the same since we started and opened our doors in 1970, and that's to provide exceptional health care to those who most need it in our community. So that's the uninsured and underinsured. And that's what we do. That's our call to action. It's been that way since the 70s and access to birth control for women and up in the 80s and support of HIV AIDS, our work. You, you guys had some groundbreaking work with HIV AIDS um, in we, the 80s, didn't we you? We did. We had many, many volunteers who came to help in that work. We were still a relatively small organization, so just a handful of staff, but a whole group of community volunteers um, and community partners who helped us in that work. We really were the, on the forefront of helping that community. Folks, drugs hadn't come to play yet for... Um, for the treatment of HIV and AIDS, so lots of folks were catching it and dying very quickly. So it became really important to wrap services and care around them. And Health Brigade Fanford Clinic was, was the organization that was doing that. And you mentioned a couple of key areas of service. You off, also offer everything that includes primary care. Yes, yes, primary care, and then we extend care, integrated health care, into the area of mental health and wellness, right? It's just as important to focus on what is happening in your mind and your body. Those things are connected. And at the clinic, we do that really well. Uh, it's a combined integrated workforce and care, and we deliver exceptional health care. We thought when we were talking about you coming on uh, during the show this morning, we would mention things like you serve the uninsured and underinsured. And unfortunately, that number is fairly large. Yes. And so, uh, and these are sometimes people that have um, language barriers. That's and right. And things like that, right? That's right. We serve a very diverse population, but as diverse as folks are, there's still so many suffering in our community um, through either being stigmatized um, or having low income and not being able to in, in afford insurance. That is true. But we believe that everybody, it's a right to have access to health care. And so that's what we're all about delivering. Having a resource like this in our community is key, right? You, you want to make sure that you have something like this. It is no small undertaking <laughs> to have an organization like this in the community, especially for 50 years running. An event like what's coming up on Friday is, is pretty critical to, to the mission of what you're doing. That's right. The Bergala for a third year in a row has become our signature fundraising event. So it's how we get and secure funds that help us then meet our mission. So it's really important. So Friday the 13th, we'll be gathering for a great big party. Be a lucky night. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this is uh, interesting. I've been able to be part of this for the last several years, and it's interesting for me to come in and see people from the community, but also the healthcare professionals who volunteer and step in and on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah. Health Brigade has a staff of about 40 to 44 employees. We have about 250 to 300 volunteers who walk through that door every year. And that's really critical because we can't do that work. Healthcare is expensive, as you well know. So to deliver it with physicians, mental health workers, nurses, all those are volunteers that give of their time to help us achieve the work that we do. Yeah. Oh, Jess, you know what's it's interesting about being there uh, is that these professionals are extremely passionate mm -hmm. about doing it. These are people that got into medicine because they wanted to help people. Well, they're doing that on their jobs a lot of hours, and then they come and volunteer at this. It's really incredibly heartwarming as you you experience and as you're able to share that mission and make that impact with, with the folks who need services and are, enable, are able to engage others, those volunteers. I mean, a network of 200 plus yeah. is huge. Yeah. 
it's pretty impressive and it's why we want to have a great big party for them to celebrate them on Friday and to help raise funds. So we're super excited. All right, let's that. run down a little bit about the party because it's at the Jefferson this year. So that's going to be nice. Black tie optional, right? Yes, yeah. yes, that's right. So you can dress up if you want to. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Please. Yeah. It'd be a good night to dress up. Yeah. We're so excited. We have, of course, Bill's been gracious enough to be our master of ceremonies. This will be the third year in a row. So it's really important that you help us celebrate our 50th as well. So we're very thankful for that. We're gonna have a great big party. It's a seated dinner this year. We're gonna kick it off at 6 p.m. with the Cambrian. Uh, the legendary Cambrian jewelers have come back again this year to donate seven pieces of jewelry. So six pieces of those will be raffled off. Uh, in a grab a gem part of the evening. <laughs> and then we have a beautiful $11,000 bracelet value that will be auctioned off in the live auction. Wow. Yeah. It's a big night. She had me at grab a gem. <laughs> <laughs> Hope Brigade will celebrate 50 years of serving the greater Richmond community at the third annual Brigala this Friday, March 13th at the Jefferson Hotel from 6 to 10 p.m. And as we said, I have the pleasure and honor of serving as Master of Ceremonies. For more information, please visit us online later today, wtvr.com slash VTM. That's right. A big thank you to all of our guests for being with us today. Our live show returns tomorrow at 9 a.m. We hope you have a wonderful day and can join us again tomorrow.